is heading in the right or wrong direction. A significant segment of the electorate, 44%, say Jamaica is on the wrong track. The NNN Blue Dot polls powered by Total Tools. So a plurality of Jamaicans, 44%, say the country is headed in the wrong direction under the Holness administration. That's according to the latest nationwide Blue Dot poll powered by Total Tools. While the figure is unchanged from the February 2024 edition of the polls, a deep dive into the data reveals warning signs for the government. George Davis has more in this report. The past week saw Prime Minister Andrew Holness receiving some of the worst headlines of his premiership arising from the recent Integrity Commission report. And in the wake of that bad week, the Blue Dot pollsters have returned more bad news. They asked 1,246 registered voters whether they believed the country was heading in the right or wrong direction. A significant segment of the electorate, 44%, say Jamaica is on the wrong track. That's compared to 27% who said the country was headed in the right direction and 29% who responded they weren't sure. The 44% has held it steady since February 2024, while there has been a single percentage point drop in those who say the country is headed in the right direction, moving from 28% in February 2024 to 27% in September 2024. There are signs even labor rights are starting to waver. Among Jamaicans who identify as JLP supporters, the Blue Dot posters found a 4 percentage point increase in those who say the country is headed in the wrong direction under their party's stewardship. Labour rights' pessimism grew from 16% in February 2024 to 20% in September. There's also been a 3 percentage point dip among labour rights who believe Jamaica is on the right track, moving from 60% in February 2024 to 57% in September 2024. Respondents who identified themselves as supporters of the opposition PNP continued to express significant pessimism about the direction of the country, with 68% of those respondents indicating Jamaica is on the wrong track. That's virtually unchanged from the 69% recorded in February. If there's any crumb of comfort for the JLP, it's this. Respondents who indicated they were not affiliated with either party expressed more optimism with a 5 percentage point increase in those who say the country is headed in the right direction. That figure moved from 13% in February to 18% in September 2024. Unaffiliated voters who say the country is headed in the wrong direction fell from 48% in February to 45% in September. But perhaps the loudest warning bells ring for the JLP in the finding of an 18 percentage point increase in the number of Jamaicans who believe the country is headed in the wrong direction since 2021. This means over the life of Holness's second term in office, the mood of the Jamaican people has steadily soured on the direction the country is heading in. Unless the government can reverse the trend and do so fast, the third term may not materialize for wholeness and a company. The nationwide Blue Dot poll, powered by Total Tools, was conducted between September 6 and 19. Two cycles, or no, three. We will, day by day, major newscast by major newscast, release the findings of a poll question, building up to the climax on Friday, where we will have the one that you are most interested in, the party standings and the leader standings where uh, Mark Golding, uh, the opposition leader, stands in the eyes of the Jamaican people and where the Prime Minister Andrew Holness stands and of course the party standings to accompany that. So it all climaxes on Friday. We have the full poll results in hand and we have a special safe here that we lock the material in. Only two people know the password, and I will even tell you which two. <laughs> <laughs> and so we're keeping it under wraps as we go along. You will be hearing first, and then we'll be having these discussions right throughout the week in all our major programs. Cliff Hughes Online coming up nationwide at 5, and even in the entertainment discussions, we're going to sprinkle some of the poll findings in those as well right throughout the week uh, to give you maximum value where the findings are concerned. 
And joining us now for no, the... No, we don't reach the same time. We don't have to go through the, the sentiment. Oh, you want, first. You want yes, to go through the... <laughs> we have all to right. do that first. You all go right. ahead and start, George. All right, good. So the public perception and outlook. Um, the Blue Dot uh, data scientists have been very kind enough to give us a narration to go along with the numbers. And they've made the data that they've gathered into information to give us. Tony, if you scroll to, scroll to page three. You, you can go the, ahead and begin. Right. All right, good. So here we go. It says optimism on the country's outlook remains stable compared to six months ago and continues to be a minority view. That's what I'm reading from what the Blue Dot data scientists, uh, the people at Blue Dot Insights, what they've prepared. I'm reading from their uh, information booklet. They say that public perception of the country's outlook has stabilized with no significant change in the overall distribution of opinions since the last poll. They say... The latest data from September 2024 shows a period of stability in public opinion. Both optimism and pessimism have largely held steady. Again, the latest data from September 2024 shows a period of stability in public opinion. Both optimism and pessimism have largely held steady with no significant shifts over the past six months. While the proportion of those who feel the country is heading in the right direction remains slightly above the low levels seen in 2022, it has stagnated in recent months. It has hit a wall. The prevailing sentiment, Blue Dot says, continues to reflect a cautious or negative outlook, with 44% of Jamaicans believing the country is on the wrong path. That's unchanged since February this year. Similarly, the proportion of those unsure about the country's direction remains consistent with only a slight increase from 28 to 29 percent. Now, it's important here to pause, listeners, to tell you this. In 2021, those who felt the country was going in the right direction, 34 percent of those surveyed in 2021 felt we were going in the right direction. 2022, 21 percent. 2023, February 2023, 21%. September 2023, 28%. February 2024, 28%. September 2024, 27%. So it declined from, the decline is big when you go from 2021 to now. But if you go from 2022 to know then the decline has uh, 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 has been, 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 been said. In fact, it fell precipitously from 34% in 2021, the right direction, to 21% in 2022, same 21% in February 2023. It moved up in September 2023, and it has pretty much held at that range, at that rate, at that point rather, 28%, it's now 27% in September 2024. For those who say the country has been going or is going in the wrong direction, we're doing the comparison over the last three years. In 2021, 26% of persons felt we were going in the wrong direction. By 2022, that had jumped, big jump, to 41%. It climbed again to 47% in February 2023, fell to 41% in September 2023, moved up to 44% in February 2024, and it is the same in September 2024. So 44%. In September 2024, feeling that we're going in the wrong direction, the same as February this year, three percentage points higher than well that than September last year, but it is way above the baseline mark according to the Blue Dot posters 2021, where 26 percent felt we were going in the wrong direction. Four years on, 44 percent feel that way. In terms of the not sure group, 39 percent of people in 2021 felt that they weren't sure which direction the country was going in, wrong or right, 39%. That 39% has fallen to 29% as of the recent poll findings in September 2024. The Blue Dot posters say, the political divide in public sentiment continues to shape how Jamaicans perceive the country's direction. JLP supporters remain the most optimistic, though their optimism has slightly dipped by 3% compared to February 2024. On the other hand, pessimism has increased by 5% among government supporters, indicating an overall net decline in perception of the direction of the country. 
PNP supporters continue to reflect high levels of pessimism, 68%, with no substantial improvement in their outlook. However, the unaffiliated segment, and this is why we described it in the news report as a crumb of comfort for the JLP, the unaffiliated segment has shown the most movement with a rise in optimism and a decline in both pessimism and uncertainty. So those who say they're loyal to neither party, their optimism has risen about the direction the country is going in. Their pessimism has fallen and their uncertainty has fallen. So they are starting to make up their minds, the unaffiliated. And that's what the Blue Dot pollsters have found. This group, Blue Dot says, while still generally pessimistic, appears to be more open to changing its views compared to the more entrenched positions seen in party-affiliated responses. Do we take the break now, Mr. King, and come back with more? And we can uh, do some more and then bring in our guests.